So, like, if you're doing polyester resin, you use all well, this is right here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a chop strand with a roven woven on the back. Right. But they don't use starch to put it together. Okay. And it's the styrene in polyester resin that breaks down chop strand mat like this stuff. Okay. If you try and use that with epoxy, it won't work. Mm -hmm. So your choices are you can use a biax if we're trying to build structure, like a real thickness, mm -hmm. or cloth, and you just use multiple layers of cloth. Got some options. Sounds great. Just checking with acetone to see if we have grinded off all of the nastiness here. Yeah. consistency of peanut butter we're going to use it to cap all the air bubbles out so before we lay down our cloth we check now just so we bring it up and see if it sags uh, it's not sagging like that it's pretty much just the right consistency okay. any of the air bubbles We're gonna be sanding this out later, so it's not like you gotta be really like, careful. Yeah. When you wet it out with your paintbrush, this stuff all kind of sits down. You just want you want the glass to adhere, not the fucking uh, fill, right? Mm -hmm. Get that all the air bubbles out. No, just do that on all the other ones. So. The reason when we wet this out with the paintbrush, it's just gonna. Sink right in. So with box you want to start a little wider than you do of course. And then the nice thing too is like why you can be sloppy with your flat silica is this when you want it out it sits down and, and lies flat. Right. Like I said we're coming back to sit. You just don't want it so wet that it flips in glass, but you want it to lie, all lie down and then mm -hmm. soak it forward through the glass. 
Especially with Spikes. Spikes. Who's a bitch? Dwayne. But you'll get you'll get the guys that don't know what they're talking about on the internet uh, telling you that you can't use Biax yeah. or Chop Strand with epoxy, which you, you can't use Chop Strand with epoxy, but you can use Biax because Biax is doesn't have starch in it. You just kind of use your fingers, tap them in, and press that air out, right, and suck, suck that. Moisture uh, or well, resin forward, right? So you can all you can see it is just wetting itself out. You don't even need to add much to it. Just trying to pull that arrow, and the glass will go opaque, really clear. When, you know, you got to wet it out. Again, I'm going a little wet because we're doing the biax over top of it. So the biax, you do the cloth, you know, the chop stand down, right? And the roving back. So. Okay. I don't know, figure out which, you know. Little roller. One problem with the like plastic gives you a lot of weight, but it's fucking hard to flood out with the bucket. Like I said, it's just hard to wet out. Uh, you know, those rollers come in handy, but God knows yeah. where my apprentice has put it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's just a little bit more time pressing up over here. 